uh, thank you neranga uh, symposium chair uh, uh, good morning all of you and uh, it's my great pleasure uh, to uh, welcome give the welcome speech um, and also uh, to give you a little bit of introduction about the department of chemistry and uh, how we place in the the world arena in terms of um, research and development uh, to to start uh, this idea came a uh, uh, long time back but unfortunately due to that uh, due to the uh, the busy schedules of this uh, top uh, notch uh, scientist we were not able to get them uh, uh, to sri lanka in 2017 i contacted some of them and um, they said they will return uh, they will come to sri lanka in 2019 but uh, due to this uh, present situation the pandemic i don't think that we are so it's a it's a blessing in these guys that we have the zoom platform even though it's a virtual platform and the technology is developed and we can interact uh, and uh, exchange ideas and i hope all of you will have a fruitful uh, symposium um, within these few hours so let me first uh, get into my uh, small presentation uh, let me first welcome our uh, chief guest the vice chancellor university of colombo Uh, Professor Chandrika and Vijay Ratna. I mean, it's a really a pleasure, Madam, to have you as the chief guest of our this uh, uh, symposium, and and also the inspiration that you give us from the top uh, uh, in terms of uh, the de developing the university uh, to uh, do uh, a good research work. I mean, it's really appreciated. So that's a, a, a pillar, uh, the, the strength behind us. Thank you very much for. Uh, gracing this occasion as the chief guest. Next, we have the. I have to welcome uh, um, the dean, Faculty of Science, University of Colombo, Professor Pulso Nadra, and uh, he's the 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 uh, he is giving the true leadership uh, uh, because of the research credentials that he has under his belt. I am sure Neranga has separate introduction to the vice chancellor and the dean. I will not go into. I just my job is to. Welcome, uh, uh, Professor Sonadra, uh, to this symposium. Thank you very much for uh, uh, joining us uh, with your busy schedule. Yeah. So let me just uh, take you through my eight, eight to ten minutes, uh, um, the uh, allocated time for the uh, the welcome speech. Our vision is uh, uh, to enhance our reputation as one of the best regional teaching and research. Uh, I mean, in terms of the chemistry and department, which recognized for its research, innovation, collaboration, and scholarship, and attracts the best students and staff. So uh, it's a uh, it's it's a small, small the the vision. I will not go through the uh, the, the the mission statement because it is it is a bit lengthy. But I will tell you that to achieve the vision, we have a a, a competent staff, um, and out of which I would say the the, the department of chemistry has the Strongest uh, uh, the faculty, and um, out of which about 50% are professors and senior professors, and I will not go through each and everyone's profile here, and um, I'm just displaying. And also I will share there too because there this this conference is uh, this uh, symposium is uh, attended by the, the participants from 17 countries to for their knowledge that the the, the qualifications for for our our um, Staff, our faculty is from the, the 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 top class universities in the in the US and the UK. Ninety percent of our PhDs uh, are from um, um, the West, US, and UK. You can see all all I have listed for your for your information. And the Department of Chemistry drives through uh, 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 four different uh, pillars. Uh, teaching is the main main part of our our, our university. This is, we are we are a te teaching university, but we are we are converting that to a research part, and uh, it's, it's a combination of teaching and research. Um, so, and the services also we look at uh, how, how the department can um, contribute to the industry, and also the outreach program. How we how we whatever we have, how do we treat the how we achieve the uh, the the social responsibility through our outreach program so th these are the four pillars that we are uh, embarking on um, and the teaching if you look at the teaching i told you that uh, this is the the 
this is the strongest department. Uh, the, the reason is, if you look at the undergraduate teaching curriculum that we have the chemistry part, and also that we have a strong faculty on biochemistry, molecular biology, and the biotechnology, and also we can go to the pharmacology as well. So uh, the, the all chemistry disciplines are covered in the department. So this is a real uh, 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 blend to have a, a great achievement in terms of all cutting edge technologies uh, spanning from uh, nanotechnology to biotechnology, etc. I will touch upon that in, in, in the next few slides. So we have the postgraduate program also. We have MSEs, Applied Organic Chemistry, MSE Analytical Chemistry, MSE Chemistry Education, and we are starting MSE Biochemistry and Molecular Biology very soon. So that's, a, that's the teaching part. And then we come to the, we have the five degree programs in our department, BSc Honors in Chemistry, Honors in Biochemistry and Molecular Biology, BSc Honors in Computational Chemistry, Honors in Pharmacy, Honors in Molecular Biology and Biotechnology. These are the five uh, the degree programs the department is uh, addressing. And we have about 75 students, 75 to 80 students who are following our Honors degree programs in the Department of Chemistry. And the, 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 the quality of the, the, the program is reflected by our, the, our graduates where they end up. They end up in, uh, most of them are unfortunately, but it's a, it's, it's a benefit to the world, I, we would say. Uh, they will end up in the US mostly. This year I have to share with you, the, the, there are about 20, 24, 25 students, graduates have secured places in the USA like if you look at uh, the top uh, left corner, the Dimutu, the, the, uh, our the, the batch top in chemistry has secured a place in MIT, and and also the we can see Penn State, and last year we had Oxford. Like that, our our our, our graduates are placed in all top-notch universities in the world. So that will reflect the program. Uh, that so I I would. Uh, Get it. Before I welcome the, the five speakers, the, the, the preamble to the, 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 the speakers, the, the, the technology that will shape up the planet in the next 25 years, no doubt about that, no matter what we believe in our science or whatever, most of the science will be obsolete, will fall into the, the singularity and the biotechnology, nanotechnology, artificial intelligence, robotics and the IOTs are, will take place in the, in the future. So there is a huge thing now, these all other fields and uh, the, 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 if you look at the biotechnology and the nanotechnology that encompass all other fields, the biology, the medicine and the mathematics all will fall into those two where we have a very collaborative program to enhance, uh, to, to plan for the next 25 years. This is how the planet moves. And then the major problems the planet faces that we have to try to solve these problems, cheap and clean energy, increased demand for pure water, environmental pollution, and the world hunger cures for diseases such as cancer. So there's a huge, the problem set that we have, we have already experienced COVID-19, the uh, nanometer size uh, object uh, has paralyzed the whole world. So as scientists, we can see where we are at the moment. We have no solution when the nature responds. So we have to make sure that our science will be geared to, the, to address the problems in the next uh, two to three decades. So the research try to make it very short research wise we have the we we we, we try to uh, the, the the blend between the fundamental and the applied research because you know if you embark on an applied research platform we will be behind the the world for example if you look at the mit cambridge they started as fundamentals and they are they they, they went on that platform for 100 years then they have now for example one example is the robert langer from mit has over 100 startup companies here so that's to take that, that, that level, the fundamentals have to be strong. So we have a very strong fundamental research program encompassing from material science to nanotechnology, synthetic organic chemistry, drug discovery, catalysis to environment chemistry, to biotechnology. Then we go to the applied part, that's, uh, that's uh, the vision of our, 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 that's part of the vision of the, the Vice Chancellor and Adam and to, to make our, our research commercialized. We have, a, we have a, the university business linkage to take and the, the science and technology cell in the faculty of science to take our research into the commercialization and for there we have to work with engineers to develop products and also we know that the the the, the, the success rate for a fundamental research to get into the the, the product development is about five percent with the, with the world context as well 
So we have about 40, 40 uh, PhD and few students. And on top of that, we have undergraduate students who are doing research about 75 and another, uh, another 50, 60 MSc students doing research in the department. We have a strong contingent of uh, research students in the department. And to take that to the, with the preamble that uh, where we are heading, we want to make sure that we will uh, uh, address the global uh, um, the problems in the future. To that, we need some inspirations and we have to understand that the Nobel Prize is given to the science where science will have an impact on the society. So those scientists that I have placed in my the slide, you know, they have contributed to the, the science initially and there are their innovations discoveries have became the, the became the part of the day-to-day -day life so that's the main reason uh, that one of the reasons to to get them the nobel prize i would like to strongly welcome our five speakers now uh constantine Novoslov. he is uh, he got his nobel prize in 2010 nobel prize for physics for his wonderful experiment on exfoliation of graphite uh, using the scotch tape experiment and uh, to add a little bit on that, the graphite uh, is, uh, is uh, uh, available in Sri Lanka. Uh, I'm sure that that talk will inspire a lot of our scientists. Uh, Novoslov got the Nobel Prize when he was at Manchester. Now he is at uh, Singapore National University. And Ada Yonath, and the first Israel woman uh, uh, to get the Nobel Prize in chemistry in 2009. I would like to welcome Ada also, and Peter Doherty, the Nobel Prize in physiology or medicine in 1996. I would like to welcome Peter and also a, a Sri Lankan uh, uh, origin, um, but she was uh, educated in US, Princeton, and then Caltech, and then now he's, he's at uh, Stanford, I mean, uh, uh, Professor Hema Karnadasa. And also then uh, the last but not least, uh, uh, Professor Dr. Stuart Cantrell is the chief editor of Nature Chemistry, and he has also uh, influenced, he was influenced by his uh, PhD was uh, uh, the Fraser Stoddard receiving the Nobel Prize in 2016 for uh, uh, molecular machines. All of these, uh, the, the speakers uh, formally introduce our, our staff and I would like to uh, warmly welcome these five speakers. So I will quickly go to our services. We have outreach program. And uh, if you look at the, 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 the output of the department, we have the journal publications averaging about 45 with the Sri Lankan context, it's international publications. It's a really a remarkable achievement by our staff. And also the citations, you can see it's climbing up uh, citations of the Department of Chemistry. And it's because of the collaborations and our alumni association from the North America supporting us in, in different endeavors uh, to, uh, to, to our research program. And two notable, my, my last slides, uh, two legendary chemists produced by the Department of Chemistry, Professor Prasanna Di Silva and Dr. Devanathan. Professor Prasanna Di Silva invented the uh, uh, market leading point of care blood gas electrolyte analyzer. And it was sold to the Roche company. It is marketed by Roche company in US and it cost about 150 million US dollars for humans and also the veterinary use as well. And uh, he has about 65 H index and he was a couple of times no nominated for the Nobel prize. I know a lot of nominations come but only three people get every year. So. Uh, he is one of the top guys in the molecular logic gates and the molecular comp uh, and the computing. And the next person, and he is no longer living, Dr. Devanathan. Everybody is familiar with the uh, BDM model for the double layer theory in electrochemistry, and it was uh, those are the two chemists. On top of that, we have a lot of industry people uh, in working for industry, some CEOs and um, uh, uh, company uh, directors. And one of the notable uh, the alumina is uh, Dr. Binod De Silva. She's the uh, vice president of uh, a, a big uh, company in the US. Yeah. And these are some images of uh, the Department of Chemistry. And we, our, our staff is very capable of attracting funding from uh, locally as well as uh, from international, like the Swedish Research Council and the World Academy of Sciences and the University College London, EPSRC in London, and the Royal Society in London. So, um, we have a strong um, the, the research funding program as well. So by my last slide, I want to welcome all of you to this uh, uh, wonderful um, uh, the, the symposium organized by the Department of Chemistry. All the participants from 17 countries, I warmly welcome and I wish you all the very best and be safe. And I hope you will have a very fruitful time 
and thank you very much. And it's over to you, over to Eranga, who is our uh, symposium chair, Dr. Neranga Abesinga, and he 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 will uh, take this forward. Thank you, Neranga. Thank you.